right. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, sir. All right, great. So we're going to have a simple class today. Purpose of today's class is to just show what you guys have to do for your web page SBA. The theory, I'll continue that when school reopens. So as you can see in the um, in your SBA requirements, um, the web page design is relatively short. So you're required to design a web page for those of you who would have attended um, the classes I had so far. There's a difference between a web page and a website. A web page is basically a single page. We're focusing on designing a single page whereas a website is a collection of web pages but that does not mean it does not mean you cannot have more than one pages based on the um csec requirements they're just looking for one page so that's enough so basically everything that you're going to create should basically be on one page which is the home page you can add the additional information to other pages, that's not a problem. But the key point to remember is that your main focus is to create a web page and all of your requirements that you're seeing here is going to be mainly on your home page. So what's the first requirement? The CK Housing Cooperation letterhead appropriately at the top. So the letterhead that you created for your um, your Word document, you're gonna put that at the top of your website. Now this letterhead, it doesn't need to be exactly the same because when we're gonna design our website, you're gonna notice that you can't get it exactly like that. So you're gonna see how you're gonna get it as close as possible. Um, you're going to display a paragraph stating the purpose of the housing cooperation, display information, basically display more information. Um, your website should have an about us, should have a contact section, it should have appropriate images and so on. So let me give you an example. Let me go to the um, Ministry of Education's website once again. Right, so in the requirement, one part asks for an about us and a contact section. Now on a normal website, those information are usually on another page because if we scroll down, we're not seeing any about us. Uh, we're seeing a contact section here. So this is an example here. What you're seeing here is an example of a contact section. Where you see the phone number, the email, um, and maybe any other additional contact information. So this here is an example of a contact section and it's on the home page. But usually, for example, the about us, notice it's a totally different page here. So when we click on that, it takes you to a whole different page because the about us describes the website, tells you what the website is about. So what I'm trying to tell you is that all of this requirements that you're seeing here should be on the home page, but you can still have the additional pages. Nothing is wrong with that. So just like how um, the Ministry of Education's website has this About Us link, and when you click on that, it takes you to the About Us section this same information here, you're basically supposed to have on your home page, but nothing is wrong with having it as an additional page also. Just that when we are marking, the main focus is this one single home page. That's our main focus. Are you guys following so far? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If anybody has any questions, clarification, please let me know. All right, so let's get into um, actually creating the website now. 
Now creating the website is going to use what is called a website builder. Now we haven't covered that as yet because we haven't reached that part as yet. But there's different ways of creating a website. There's basically um, three ways of creating a website that you are going to learn about. Um, not sure where to find that information. But there's basically three ways. One, you can actually use a Microsoft Word document. So the same Word document that you have on your computer, you can use that to create a website. That's one method. When school reopens, I'll show you how to use that method. The second method is basically using HTML. So if I um, go back to the Ministry of Education's website and I right click anywhere and I say view page source, Oh, that's not yeah that's it that's it here what you're seeing here this here is the HTML code for this website here so this is the second method of designing a website this is actually the main method HTML is actually the main method of designing a website so it's basically like if you're coding but it's not a coding language you would have learned about that HTML is not a coding language now, what you guys are going to be doing is using what is called a website builder. It makes it much more simpler in order to make a website. So that's the third method of developing a website, using a website builder. Now you can go on Google and you can type in free website builders. What a website builder is, it is basically um, a website that you use to build a website so you're using a website to build a website so I'm looking for some list of examples that you can use So this, this website here has some examples. So as I mentioned already, you're using a website, which is called a website builder, to make your web page. I'm going to send this link here in the group. Um, give me a second, let me send it to the group one time so that you can see the um, examples. Now these are the most popular ones. Um, Wix is one of the more popular ones. So if you search for Wix, so create a website without limits this is one of the more popular ones um, Wix WordPress Weebly um, have any of you ever heard about Google Sites no have any of you ever created a website before though no, I never asked that question have any of you So, um, yeah, as I said, the more popular one is Wix. Um, let's see, I've never seen anybody use UCraft. Um, I've seen persons use Webnode. Um, I've seen persons use Weebly. Um, what else? Never seen Web Starts. Never seen Jimdo. Um, site one, two, three, Nita. GoDaddy, yeah, part of a GoDaddy before. That's a more popular one also. Um, Webflow is another one. So it does not matter WordPress. It does not matter which website builder you choose because they're all basically going to do the same. But if you notice what this website here is showing you is actually some 
features and different advantages of one over the other because some might have um, like different features different capabilities different advantages different disadvantages and so on so one might give you the option to do something while the other might not so you got to play around with whichever one you're more comfortable with whichever one can work for you good so once you've decided on a website builder from the list that you see in here you're gonna go to that website and you're gonna sign into that website now when you're gonna sign into this website what's gonna happen is that you're gonna use an email and password obviously but if you want your partners to work on this assignment to work on this website obviously you can't give them your personal email and password so I would recommend you design um, um, a temporary email and password and use that so that everybody has access to that email and password so everybody can have access to the website so that's your first step there create a temporary email address so that everyone can have access to that email address so that when you sign in you'll be able to have everyone um, a part of your assignment unless you're meeting up some way you can decide what you want to do so I'm going to sign in with Google you guys following so far yes sir yes sir Remember, if you have any questions at any point in time let me know good so once you're finished signing in it's basically like you create an account so they, they know what um, who you are what you're doing on the site and so on so after you've done that um, there should be an option to create a site so somewhere if you if you chose webnode if you chose weebly there should be an option somewhere to create a website so i'm showing there for wix let me also open um webnode Side by side. Close that, close that. So web node. If you notice, it's going to be relatively the same way. If you notice, the option is right here at the top, create a website. But first, I'm going to log in. Log in with Google. this the option is right here create a website so once you select that option there what should happen is that some website might do it differently some might show you a list of templates let me see if this one does that so okay so webnode is asking me for a website name so I'm gonna name this test website So what type of website would you like? It's asking you this question here basically. And if you notice, Wix is also asking you some questions. Why is it asking you this question? Is because these website builders have what is called templates. Just like how when you go into Microsoft Word, you have some templates here that you can choose from that has some specific <coughs> routes and designs and so on. Similarly, the website builders have templates and uh, for those who would have attended our classes so far it's very important for you to know what is the purpose of your website so when you know the purpose and you type in the purpose of your website you'll get a team you'll get a template that suits your purpose so um, we're, we're not creating e-commerce we're creating just a website this is on web node here and if you notice it's giving us some templates that we can choose from so we can preview that template or we can choose that particular template if we want so say for instance um, we're creating a restaurant so notice we have some teams for that if you are dealing with food cafe or anything of that sort 
But our website is more of a company. Our website is more of a business. So we might want to choose more of a business team. A more professional, it's more of a construction based um, team. So let me see. So maybe this one here, civil engineering. Good. So I just preview this one here. So this is a preview of this website, relatively short. And these are our navigational links at the top here. So notice the about me, the contact section. So they know each website should have these parts here, a home page, and about me, a contact section. So they um, create those by default for you. But as I mentioned already, these information should be on the home page because that's what we're more looking for. But nothing is wrong with having the additional pages. Nothing's wrong with that. Good. So I'm going to go back, close preview. So going over to Wix over here so let me see if I, if I type in construction so construction company next so basically you're looking for a template that would suit your um, design what is the name of your business um, test business Um, what do you want to add to your website? So these are some features that you can add to your website using Wix. You can add a chat feature, a booking feature, even an online store. Um, but this is not necessary for us. So I'm just going to select next. Um, let's see. Begin with a template. So start designing your website. Begin with a template. So let's look for some templates now. Good. So this one here is actually giving us some more related templates. So like for instance, this one here at the top here. So let me preview this one. So this is more related to a construction company. So it's up to you to now decide which team you basically want to work with, which team is suitable to the purpose of your website. So you gotta look into what is the purpose of your website and you select a suitable team for that. Good. So once you're finished selecting a team, let me um, choose a simple team so that you can follow. So say for instance, you chose this team here. I'm on web node now again chose this team here so if you notice I'm going back and forth and it's kind of almost the same but some as I mentioned already might have different features and so on so you can go through the tutorial if you want so that you get a better idea as to what to do I recommend you go through the tutorial but I'm not gonna do that um, all right I can do it I can go through it with you so here's your website time to edit it in these four simple steps, you will learn the essentials to create a beautiful website, managing content. Using the plus button, you can easily add elements to your web page. What kind of elements? Like images, text boxes, um, video links. Those are called elements. You add those elements to your website. You can then move using the drag and drop or delete to the trash can. Um, to edit text, simply click at it and start typing just like you would use in your favorite text processor. So the website builder is kind of like if you're using Microsoft Word. You click, you drag, you click on something, you edit it. So if you notice what just happened there, you clicked on something, you just edit it. You click on the image, you move it about, you edit it. It's that simple. Um, Step number two, managing pages. The menu of your website can be managed in the pages tab 
in the top bar you can add pages with various layouts such as the contact page the about us page you can re rearrange them using the drag and drop feature continue <coughs> editing the page header and section um, change the background of your header by clicking the gear icon and selecting header background you can also add effects animations and so on so it's basically you guys to play around with the various settings that it has so that you can modify your website now this is very important this part here is very important publishing your changes after you're finished designing your website you have to do what is called publishing that's the only way anybody could see what you're designing so as you see it was happening in this animation here when you select publish it's going to give you a link it's going to give you your own personal link so notice what's going to happen to click on publish and he's going to give you that link there so this now is going to be your website link that's going to be the url to your website so that's very important to remember good so we just finished with the tutorial there so let's um, see how we can edit this web page here so as mentioned they gave us a template they gave us some layout here you can follow the layout or you can rearrange it as you so want so notice i have a text box here i clicked on it and i simply start typing whatever i want inside of this box here So I simply start typing whatever I want. I can delete whatever information is inside here. Start typing there. And if you notice, the editing options are right here. Um, if I want to make it italic, if I want to change the, um, the alignment, um, where's the other options? So if I want to make a subtitle, so that's going to change the design of that particular element. Um, settings. Right click. Oh, so there, here is the color here. So that was what I was looking for. So the color is right here. So it's kind of like if you're using a text editor. Like if you're using Microsoft Word, you can change the size indentation all that is possible here so if I want to move this here I can click on it and drag and it moves the images over here I can resize it to whatever I want I can click and drag and move it wherever I want it to go it's that simple um, what else do we have we have pages here so these are going to be the different pages of your website that you can have the home page the about us page the contact page and so on so as i mentioned already nothing's wrong with having pages just that the contents that you're going to put on these pages should be on your home page that's the main thing we're looking for so if you want to add another page here so notice they have templates for those pages so if i want a, a blog page choose that say create it as a blog so notice i now have a blog page here now very important to have is what is called a navigational link every website have has a navigational link so even when you go back to this website here at the top here you see now these links here that takes you to the different parts of the website this is called the navigational links now some would have it out in the open like what you're seeing here they have the navigational link out in the open but some because i was looking for it just now some would have it as three bars so if you notice in the very corner here it has three bars here so that there is the navigational link for this website so it doesn't matter where you are you can click on that navigational link and you can go to another part of your website good so 
that's how you edit your website that's how you add various pages um, you can go through the other settings see what else is there and then lastly there is the publish option only until you publish will you be able to get this link here this here is the link that you're putting into the original letter of your web page uh, word document SBA this is the website that you're putting there um, but notice it has about us so what you're gonna do ensure you're on the home page so that you get um, a good link so that you get the link that leads you to the home page as you should have done that from the beginning good see it doesn't have about us to the end so when you're publishing ensure you're on the home page so that you get the link that leads you to the home page so um, you just highlight it copy it and you paste it wherever you need it all right so going over back to wix we can see the similarities so i'm going to click edit here just give it some time to load your internet might be a bit slower and it might take a while to load so just give it some time to load Um, excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, I'm a bit confused. Mm -hmm. The instructions ask us to create a web page, which is one singular um, page within a website. Correct. Um, but you were saying that if we wanted to, we could add, um, put the about us and contact info and so on on different pages? Yes. And that would be okay? Yes. Okay, sir. Because what is happening is that when we are marking we're mainly looking at the one page so we won't go and click on other pages to try to find your various requirements and give you that mark so we ensure everything is on the one page we find everything and we give you your mark but we want to be uh, professional at the same time we want to be um, doing things the correct way at the same time because in the real world, you will have um, different pages. In the real world, you would not put everything on your home page. So we want to apply both practices. Basically have everything on the home page so it's easy for CXC to mark. And at the same time, create your multiple pages so that you get the experience of creating a professional website. So, sir, we just have to ensure that there are navigational links to the other pages on the home page. Correct. Okay, sir. Thank you. All right. So, Wix is open. Now, if you notice, Wix actually um, makes its features more accessible, uh, makes its options more accessible. So, notice there's a add element here. And it gives you a wide variety of elements that you can add. Text box, image, a button, a strip decorative item a box so much things you can add um, what is this one here you can add various sections oh this is important all right what I'm gonna do um, basically let's go back to the requirements so a paragraph stating the purpose of the website so that should be one section what we mean by section is that when I'm scrolling through this website here, if you notice, this here is an image that you're seeing here. And then you're going to see this white box here. So that's basically a differentiation between these two parts here. So think of it like this is being one section here, this image here, and then this services part here as another section. Now as I continue scrolling, you can notice that there's a an image over here so this is indicating by the different design it is a totally different section as I continue scrolling I have a bar here with as another section you continue scrolling again I have another section here so 
that is going to help you actually in reality some websites actually have most of their information on the web, uh, on the home page because the home page is where persons um spend most of the time so some websites like a small website a small company they would actually put everything on their home page so as you're seeing right now this template actually has everything on the home page it has all of their services it has the about me um the various projects that they're carrying out even the contact section all of that is on the home page why because some persons spend most of the time on the home page so it's better to have everything there than to have persons clicking on various links trying to find the various links and to create that effectively you would section it off you would have different sections so something is going to differentiate one section from the other it might be a different color it might be a different design something is going to differentiate it from the other so like you're seeing here there's an image at the top there then there's a white background here a different design same white background but that's a different design that keeps differentiating the different section and then there's a title at the top that shows the various sections so this is exactly how your web page should look exactly how you not exactly but it's an idea as to the layout of what I'm expecting having various sections the title of the section at the top of it with the information inside of it any other questions any confusions no sir no sir alright so notice this one here we can customize background this one makes it very easy to do a lot of things on this website so if you want I would actually recommend using Wix but then some persons with it having so much options even though notice you can actually change up the color scheme of the website